Whenever my mother had a dizzying spell, she would ask me to accompany her to take a morning troll at the Baliwag Public Market going to the Angat River. She found belief doing that. Observation of sights and sounds provoke my juvenile sensitivity. The street cleaner pushed his drunk decayed cart, the wheel of which squeaked in pitiful anguish. His long pole while his thing swished hard from the ground, spit cursed and grief. Further on, lined up of trucks unloading fruits, vegetable and peas. It surprises me when they unload their goods. They do it with tunes. Ang isa ay dalawa, pagkatapos ay tatlo. That I don't understand. Then I heard vendors talking of gouging prices, dirty tricks, cheating buyers. As we approached the belittled Little Bajo area, Little Baguio before when it hadn't been Baliwag's garbage dump, putrid smell wafted through the air. My mom hurried up whenever we reached this point. Down at the river bank, as the sun tipped, a shop of orange beam took shots of the pristine water that shimmered and sparkled. While at a distance, a fisher in his boat, plunging in his net, sheared the virginal river. The water protested with a solid splash that disturbed a couple in the shroud with blankets on their heads rushed on the booster side of the town, seemed ashamed being seen. The fisherman pulled up his net, a bunch of shining ayunin or bia struggling to wriggle while clinging to the trap. Oh, I relished the sight. When we reached our favorite spot, the big burgundy rock with a smooth surface, and we sat there and dangled our feet. The water kissed the rock forming bubbles, disappeared and reappeared receded and rippled back. The air is crisp, mild and mountain pressed, shoot us with delight. That alone invigorated and made us healthy.